Why does the government permit cigarettes if they love people? Because they get taxes on it. They get taxes on whiskey. They tell you that more people are killed by drunken drivers than many wars. So why don't they stop liquor? They don't know how, and they get packed. They get money for every bottle of liquor sold. So the government doesn't care about people. Proof, they outsource production. If they cared about you, they would not lay you off. But if they don't lay you off, they will lose the competitive edge. So all nations fight for themselves. They don't give a damn about anyone else. They fight for the bottom line, money. And so as long as money is dominant, you will have problems. Girls sometimes marry a guy because he's rich. Sometimes a guy marries a girl because she's rich. That's not good. Without money, you can't sell drugs. You can't have gambling. You can't have horse races. You can't have any of the crap you have today. So it's money we have to get rid of and move toward a resource-based economy. That means like the family. When your father sends you to college, he says, you owe me $40,000. He doesn't say that. He does it because he loves you. And love would be the universal force of tomorrow. The fact that we care about everybody, you understand? Not a selected few. So I'm saying to you that the millionaire today may know where to invest, but they have nada de cabeza, nothing in their heads. They don't understand people, they don't understand the forces of nature. Even psychologists and psychiatrists try to adjust you to this system. They have to be stupid to do that.